Hello YouTube's Akro Sama and here we have today is the High Grade Build Divers GBN Base Gundam. Now I know a lot of people are just not super stoked about it because it has translucent parts like a very um you know fluorescent kind of parts for the blue the red and the yellow so I can kind of understand where people are coming from because they generally wanted a very flat looking color mobile suit uh, and I, I can honestly say I would have preferred that as well however uh, you know I'm not gonna paint this mobile suit just because like I do really like the way it looks um, but it's just not on my top you know priority project right now so I will build it as is and then after my assembly I will make a decision if I do want to build it in the future or not uh, but I will always have it because I don't really see myself wanting to get rid of this kit anytime soon so I am probably going to paint this maybe when you know I'm a little bit more um, stabilized when it comes to projects I have and I can go ahead and just make a little fun project so other than that let's go ahead and dive right into the unboxing. And taking a look at the front cover art, the first thing you're going to notice is a swarm of GN guards. Uh, I don't really like GN guards to be honest. I know a lot of people are very fond of them. Me, I'm not. I, I just don't like the design of it. It looks, it looks okay, but maybe in the future I'll probably do a little custom because I really want to do a Daft Punk custom of this as well as the, um, there's another GM from the Origin line I was really wanting to do. So maybe one day but for the time being the front cover art looks really damn good this kit was released in 2019 no retail price listed on the box but i know you can pick this up online roughly for about 15 dollars at any of your favorite online shops and this is number 25 in the bill divers line right here you get some action poses that demonstrates all the accessories is going to come with it such as the beam rifle and the beam sabers and further down, you can see that it has multiple slots to where you can input different accessories uh, either to the back of the floor, the backpack, or on the bottom. So that's pretty cool if you really want to mount any other type of weaponry. Also here, it does have head Vulcans, which is pretty cool, and also a shield. Further down, they really try to push this, you know, the built custom line. I'm not into it. The angel wings are pretty decent, but does not. I don't think it looks good on this at all. And the motorcycle is fairly okay, but once again, these are just customs I don't think are very interesting at all. Here you get a front and rear shot of the model kit. And if you want to read a little bit of the lore, you can do so right here. And right here you're going to get two runner A2s. So these are going to be more of a pearlescent kind of color, which I don't really think are that bad. And next are going to be runners B1, B2. These runners are going to be borrowed from the GBN guard frame. So a lot of good weaponry and you get the dual pistols, which is actually pretty damn good. And next is going to be runner C, so this is going to be primarily your inner frame, so all this nice little gray will be showing up on the overall kit. And next you're going to have is runner E, so E is going to have your fluorescent colors, and it's going to be coming in the blue, the yellow, as well as the red, so I think it looks good. Uh, the, pearl, the pearl white looks pretty good, but that yellow I think does not. It looks pretty horrid to be honest. So if, if the yellow is something that you really like, then awesome. If not, then I'm definitely going to urge you to paint it. Um, so this is actually making me lean more into painting mine, uh, maybe just later on uh, this year or possibly next year. You also get some poly caps, two beam sabers, and a very small sticker sheet. So looking at the manual, the front is going to have that box art cover. The same lore about the base Gundam that was on the side of the box. And also a little bit about the Game Master. And then they just have a little bit more lore about the developers. Construction looks like it's going to be very simple and definitely to the point, so not too much time will actually be had on building this kit. With building the weapons, you're also going to have some color on the instruction page. And on the back of the box, it shows you what the actual material gunplay was, which was the uh, GBN guard. And this is the weirdest thing I've seen, is that the color guide is only showing the gray part. It's kind of just telling you that the actual color that was listed, uh, that's, that's actually showing in the manual, is going to be different than the final product, obviously. But there's no other colors, so I'm assuming you can just go to the website and um, maybe they'll show you there. But for the most part, there's no other colors except for that gray that's shown right there but that's all for me guys so definitely thank you for watching and i should have this kit up and ready i would assume by tomorrow because i'm not really going to be doing much except for going to work for a little while going to the gym and then i'll be back and busting this thing out so other than that guys definitely thank you for watching and i'll be seeing y'all in the review Bye bye